ANC National Chairperson Agueda Mantashe was heckled as he addressed party members in KwaZulu-Natal last night. Delegates chanted, what has Zuma done in what appeared to be support for the former president who appeared in court earlier in the day. Now, before we get to that, let's listen to this. Our reporter, William Gambi, is tweeting, the ANC interim leadership through Sitle Zikalala uh, says that it wants to sincerely apologize to Greta Mantashe for what happened yesterday. Let's take a look at how it unfolded. Unless it is not an ANC meeting. <laughs> if it's a fractional meeting, I'm not going to speak. If it is an ANC meeting, I'm going to speak here tonight. Uba ye affection, the meeting, and is outed. Uba ye ANC, is outed. Up, Namzan. So what is happening with the ANC in KwaZulu-Natal right now? Let's go live there to our reporter, to continue Koli Mgambi. He's currently interviewing uh, someone. Let's listen in. Court rallies, if I can call them that, uh, given the kind of statements that are targeted particularly at the national leadership of the ANC right now. Thank you. <coughs> That's why it's known from the leadership. The leadership was aware of the challenges that, uh, and the queries that come from the applicants. And if the leadership knows the names of the applicants, and uh, if they did anything with the issues and challenges, queries that were raised by those who lodged the complaints with the court, or rather, complaint with the court. And secondly, if the ANC, as the respondent, will demand that the cost that were especially that were the money that was used in preparation for the conference if you file that those uh, the applicants they pay for it if you win okay uh, my question is uh, directed at uh, the PTT uh, coordinator uh, you indicated uh, in your opening speech that uh, you blaming uh, partly the behavior of uh, the delegates last night to some to the behavior of certain uh, national leaders can you give us specific examples to say what these leaders are, are doing or are saying in order to create this environment that we saw um, I've been most of our questions have been covered but maybe um, just wanted to find out um, will uh, Chairperson Gwede Mandashe um, be called to open the conference when it sits again or will you reconsider um, another person despite, uh, after um, what transpired last night? Thank you. Thank you. I have said to take only five persons. Can I hand the question to those persons? Let me take one um, because I wasn't taking notes. Look, there is a view that uh, comrades have with regard to comrades who have taken the ANC to court. Is that as an ANC, first and foremost, when we're approaching that matter, we will be informed by the rules of natural justice, but also informed by our own constitution. I want to start from there. In terms of the rule of natural justice, it is it's a matter of common cause that anyone can go to a court of law when they have a matter. And therefore, the ANC cannot prevent that because the ANC is not above the rules of the natural justice. But on the one hand, we have taken our own resolution uh, in Nazareth, discouraging people taking the ANC to court. And therefore, we would want to be able to approach that matter uh, in a, a multi-pronged approach. First, we would like to probe the conditions under which the ANC has been taken to court by these comrades. In other words, whether their actions are malafide in that instance. And secondly, and if they are, then they would actually be tantamount to be breaching the discipline of the ANC. And therefore, the ANC will have to act on the basis of that. But secondly, 
we would also be able to, to dissect some of those issues and see how do we engage on issues if there are genuine issues of concern that need to be dealt with, sit with those who are genuine issues and see how we deal with it. So the ANC is not going to be approaching that matter without having due regard of all these principles that I've just enunciated. Thank you very much, uh, <coughs> Sidi. There's a specific question that you have asked around the issue of uh, whether all the outstanding issues were dealt with. <coughs> I think it's important to, to stress that, uh, first of all, when the ANC took a decision in January that there must be an interim structure in the province that must prepare for a provincial conference within three months because that was the initial decision. What then happened was that there was also a testing of the National Executive Committee members that was then seconded to the province to come and assist with the preparations of the conference. And as preparations were going on and then the, the challenges arose, <coughs> structures were put in place by both the, the province and the national in terms of dealing with outstanding issues. And the provincial appeals team and the provincial dispute team set up and, and looked at those issues. And those that they couldn't resolve were then referred to the, to the national dispute team. <coughs> That national dispute team is actually chaired by uh, Deputy Secretary General of the African National Congress, Comrade Jesse Duart. It is very important, therefore, to stress the fact that Comrade Jesse has spent with, his, with her team, they have spent a full week before the last NEC here dealing with outstanding issues. Immediately after the NEC of the 26th to the 28th, they came back to the province to actually deal with further outstanding issues. So from our view, the national dispute team had dealt with all the outstanding issues. The last meeting that they had, which they finished, on the, I think on the 4th, they were in Herikwala, and on the 5th, they were in Moses Mapita. That was their last meeting. So from where we are sitting, all outstanding issues were dealt with. <clears throat> I do want to, to, to come to the second point, even though it was not directed to me, the question, it was directed to Comrade Sihleze Galala about his continued attending, attendance of Comrade Zuma's court cases. I think I'm, I'm responding to it because it's an issue that was discussed by the National Executive Committee of the African National Congress. And a decision was taken that anybody can go and support Comrade Jacob Zuma, but they do so in their individual capacity. Even myself, when I have the time, I could go to court. I thought it's important to, to say that. But obviously, I will be going in my individual capacity, not representing the African National Congress. So, I, so if, therefore, you, you really want to ask that question to, to Comrade Sisle, he would have been there on his individual capacity because the African National Congress National Executive Committee did give that green light that everybody can go to court, but on their individual capacity. No, thanks. I think I must add on the first issue that Comrade Mike has addressed. Uh, the issue of what is the view on those delegates, on those coverage. The view, generally, all delegates who are here, task us that we must institute a disciplinary action against these people. We have taken the ANC to court. It's clear on that, we are clear. We will then, in doing that, check the conditions under which these comrades have taken the ANC to court. That also includes whether they, have ex they had exhausted all issues internally. The fact that Peggy Kele said, <clears throat> take the ANC to court up until the ANC uh, is correct or do the right things correctly, 
I think uh, with regard to that statement, uh, I don't agree with it. And those are part of divisive statements that we always see from national leaders. That delegates have mandated us to take to the national leadership. Such a kind of, div of statements that are peddled by leaders which undermine integrity of the ANC. Firstly, they, they mean that the ANC is not doing things correctly. In this case, if to be specific, the ANC Deputy Secretary General was like staying in some of the regions. Staying in Lower South Coast, Herikwala, Moses Mapita. There is a comprehensive report. And therefore, that is why the ANC branches here, that way here, were clear that we must take serious disciplinary actions on those people. The second issue, I can see that uh, Mr. Mwanga wants me to respond personal on this issue. I'll do so with respect. When I go to court, uh, as I went yes, uh, yesterday, I did so as a person. Those who saw me uh, uh, after court will recognize that after that I had an ANC jacket. Ne? But when I was there, just wearing uh, my coat, because I went there as CIS and not the ANC, in line with the ANC decision. What is my view on the statements that are made and should I continue going there? Yes, I will. Because I think it gives also us a platform to challenge those statements there. If someone says, President Zuma, uh, you are ill-treated, we must correct it there and say, let us not use this court case of President Zuma to create unnecessary divisions in the ANC. I go there to provide support to President Zuma, former President Zuma, but also as a person, but also to use that very same space to deal with anything that is used or said, which might cause a problem that is unnecessary. So I will continue, to, uh, I'll continue. Not because I appreciate statements, not because I associate myself with some of the people who are there, but I believe that also those platforms can be hijacked if the people who know things are not there to clarify. They can be hijacked. I was not part of the uh, last part where there was an address. I went to court only yesterday because of time. I didn't go to uh, where, people, where others were speaking. So I think I'm not saying I would have not gone there. That must be clear. Uh, I think we've, uh, we, we will, what is the view? The branches are clear that they need a conference now, not after <coughs> elections. From us, we, we think it's not a question of whether we have conference now or after elections. The process is, the issue is that objectively, you need stability when you go to elections. You need a leadership with authority that has powers powers, not just some delegated powers, powers from elected structures, branches of the ANC. And those are people who can then lead with full mandate the campaign. I think I've, I've answered the question, branches on uh, the cost, issues of the cost uh, implications. We're not going to answer that now. We're not sub, uh, submitting to court. You will see that when we submit to court. Uh, we will file our papers, and I think that's when uh, we will we'll deal with these issues. What are issues that uh, I, I, we cited uh, are divisive statements. They are divisive statements that uh, some of the national leaders continue to do. Uh, they make in public. Those are issues that undermine hegemony in the ANC. There are strong allegations of leaders of national who goes around meeting with people in the form of factions. And those are issues that internally we must engage on. 
We must be thorough in engaging with those issues of NEC members who are busy creating divisions. You can't have NEC members being part of creating divisions. You can't have NEC members being part of factions in provinces. I said yesterday, if you will hear of us, especially at a level of the convener and the coordinator of the PTT, you hear that we go to regions and have factions, factional meetings. It means we will be working against unity of the ANC. So branches have instructed us that we must engage with the national leadership on that issue. Because it creates an environment that is not good when national leaders are seen to be going around. In fact, if you do that, being a national leader, you are reducing yourself. You are just reducing yourself. You go there, you meet with people in a corner, you discuss issues which you should, in fact, be above on. Now, we will be engaging with the national leadership on those issues. Lastly, I think we must indicate uh, we didn't introduce Covered Cindy as she was joining us. I think it was a mistake, but it's Covered Cindy Chikunga, an EC member deployed here in Wazulu Natal. Thanks. Those were five questions that were asked. Ask. There's, the, there's the last question I know that we did not respond to. <clears throat> that was asked by, I think it was asked by Neo about whether the national chairperson will come mm. back to, to the conference if it does sit. I think it's important to stress the fact that uh, mem leadership of the African National Congress doesn't just wake up and decide to go to a specific conference. The officials deploys, <coughs> the SGO deploys officials to, to a conference and NEC members are being deployed. Comrade Guede was deployed here by the SGO. If at the time that the conference sits again, he will be available, he will be deployed again. It will depend at that particular time on who is available and who the SGO needs to deploy. So it, is not, it will not be up to him to decide whether I come back or not. It is not about in your will or in your own feeling that you, as the ANC leadership. Thank you very much. Thank you, colleagues. Thank you, colleagues. Thank you, colleagues. Thank you. One question that I think is quite critical. Mm -mm. Now, if we take, if you take this one chair, you, you're saying that no. delegates want a question now. I want to ask a different question, and that is that: What, in your view, do you think the impact of going into <coughs> campaign for the general election without a solid leadership will be? On the you see, uh, we can't take that question because firstly it has been answered. Secondly, it is unfair, uh, Mr. Mfuetukuluuti. Uh, there is a facilitator here who is presiding, and having uh, uh, him saying clear that he's closing, we're not running away from engagement. Uh, you just impose yourself on the manner in which you do. It would be better if you engage on that issue separately, uh, because if we are open for you, we must open for others. So I think let's respect the process. We are free to take uh, that issue, but outside to this uh, engagement. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, comrades. Uh, thank you to the leadership. You can uh, Colleagues. Okay, so it's official. A mandate from the branches apparently is that the provincial conference in KwaZulu Natal must convene in six weeks, subject to the approval of the ANC NEC. Also, this delegation apologizing to Greta Montasche, who was booed last night. They're also saying that they're discouraging their members against taking them to court. We know that there is an interdict, and that's why the provincial conference in KwaZulu-Natal did not go ahead. We will speak to our reporter, Kolyam Gambi, a little later for more information on that story. Now,